I see you. I know you are struggling with self-doubt. I know every day you wake up and you want your life to change and you want things to be different. But then that inner voice becomes loud and it becomes louder than you want it to. And it becomes so loud that everything that you have set yourself on doing, you're not doing. You're not following through. You are literally giving up on yourself. And this is your sign. This is your sign where I want you to know that I see you, you are seen and you are supported. And that self-doubt, as it comes in every day, as it comes in, in those moments where you wish it wouldn't be there, as it comes in, in those moments where you're telling yourself that life is going to change, but it's not in those moments as self-doubt comes in, I want you to know that these stories that you're telling yourself, I want you to know that they're not true and that these stories are memories. There are energy that was built and created in the past. If that was yesterday, if that was a week ago, if that was a year ago or years ago, anything you've ever experienced created a memory and that created an energy. And that energy has become part of you and has placed itself in your body. And that energy still lives within you. That energy makes you believe that your self-doubt and the stories that you're telling yourself are true. And so today you want to live a different life. You want for things to change, but you are letting that energy that is still stuck in your body take over you. So what you got to do is you got to release those memories. You got to release that energy. Because the truth is, this is not happening consciously. This is not for you to understand, oh, that memory made me believe this about myself. It might, and there are some instances where maybe you remember, but many, many times we don't make the connection. We might have had something happen to us years ago when we were five years old. And today at the age of 35, 45, 50, it doesn't matter the age. The thing that happened created a story, created a memory, and it is placed in your body, making you believe everything about that story, it being true today. Back then, it formed a belief about you. It made you believe that you can do certain things or you can't do certain things. And so today, as you're moving through your life, you're letting something from the past live in your present moment. But I want you to know that as what was created in the past, you can also consciously decide to create your future by recreating your present moment. You're going to overcome the self-doubt when you recreate who you want to be in the present moment. Because when we know that we are who we are from the past, we also know that in the present moment, it is our choice and our opportunity to recreate ourselves for a better future. So you got to ask yourself, where is my self-doubt holding me back? What is it that I would do if my self-doubt wouldn't be standing in the way? If I wouldn't let that voice be so loud, if I wouldn't believe that voice, where would I be if I let that go today? And if I decided to do things differently today, if I decided to do the thing despite the self-doubt, because I can tell you that when you take action, despite the self-doubt, that is when you will prove to yourself that you can do it. And it might not be perfect from the first time. And it might not be perfect after the second time. But when you take action, despite you doubting yourself, you will prove to yourself that you can do it, that you're capable of creating the thing that you want. And that is when you take small action after small action after small action. That is when you're going to expand and that energy that was placed as a memory in your body that has created all of those stories of your self-doubt, all of that will be gone. All of that will leave you. And it's only going to leave you when you recreate that story in your mind. And you only recreate that story by you taking action and moving forward despite the self-doubt and moving forward and doing the very thing that scares you. Because then your mind is gonna be like, 
wow, we've never done this before, but I'm literally doing this right now and I'm scared, but I know I have it. I can do this. I have myself. Bring it back to yourself and also understand that these stories about you and the self-doubt that you're having, they are no longer true. And if you want to take it a step further, you might even realize that the stories that you are telling yourself in your mind right now are not even your own. They might be your families, they might be your parents, they might be your partners, they might be your friends. Because maybe one day they have told you something about you that you have made your own. You have taken it on and you have made that your truth. That's where you got to overcome that. And you will overcome that by proving to yourself that you can do it no matter what. I really hope this resonated with you. If it did, please let me know down below. You got this. I'm sending you so much love and until the next time, bye-bye.